In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a skill, CSQ, and team in UCCX. Now, uh, before we can do that for a new system, I need to create a user. If you have an existing uh, system, you can uh, just skip over this first part or follow along, but you don't have to do it. Um, so I'm actually starting in Call Manager, and I'm going to go over to User Management End User. And I'm going to create a new user, and I'll fill out this name quick. So I'm just going to call it CCX Supervisor, last name Supervisor, first name CCX. I'm going to enable user for unified CM, IM, and presence. I'm going to allow control device from CTI. I'm also going to enable mobility, and I'm going to click Save. Now I want, I'm going to need to associate this user to a device that already exists. So I'm going to choose this uh, IP communicator right here. Actually, yes, yep, I'll choose that. And I'll save the changes. And then I'll go back to the user. And right here, IPCC extension. Selecting this and clicking save is going to create an agent over in UCCX. But I also want to add some um, control groups. And I'm going to give this user CCM end user and standard CTI, CTI enable. I'm going to add those and click save. And there we go. Step one. We should now have a user over in UCCX that we can make a supervisor so um, we have a supervisor for the team that we're going to create. So I will now move over to CCX and I'm going to go over to Tools, User Management, Supervisor, Capability View. And I'm going to Manage Users and add the user we just created. So I'm going to move him over from Available Users to CCX Supervisor and click Save. Okay, so we have our user in uh, CCX uh, set up as a supervisor so now we can go ahead and create this skill. So I'll go to sus subsystems, RMCM, skills and I'm going to add a new one and I'll just call it standard. I'll click save and our skill is created. That's all there is to it. Um, so that is what we will assign to agents when we want to control which calls they get um, but we also have to create the CSQ. So I'll go into Subsystems, RMCM, Contact Service Queues. And I'm going to add new. I'm going to call this one standard as well for the queue name. Um, I'm going to enable automatic wrap-up time. And then I'm going to set that time to 15 seconds. So that means the agent will get a 15 second between, uh, between break between calls, which is nice. I'm going to leave the service level at 5 and the service level percentage at 70. So that's quality control. Um, for supervisors. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And I'm going to click next and then I'm going to add the skill that we created earlier to this queue. And I'm going to set the minimum competence to one and I'll show you where we do that for the agent. That just means that you can set an agent skill level anywhere between one and ten instead of five and ten. And so you can set your agents up at different skill levels, and if they're at a 9 and another agent is, a, is at an 8, if both are available, the agent who is at a 9 will get the call first. So um, and I'm going to change the resource selection criteria actually to uh, most skilled. There is other criteria. Um, you can choose it to any of these. I'll let you look at those and decide what you want. But for me, I just want to use most most skilled and I believe that's going to be the most common. So I'll add that one. And so now we have our skill set up, we have our queue set up. Next thing we can do is set up our team. So I'll go to subsystem RMCM teams. And once again I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to call this one customer service. And I'm going to set up the primary supervisor as CCX supervisor. And if we hadn't created that user and we had no users on this list, we wouldn't be able to save the team because it would say, you need a supervisor. Um, and then down here we have available CSQs. So I'm going to go ahead and choose standard. Click save. And there we have it. 
we have an agent, we have a skill, we have a CSQ, and a team in UCCX. In the next video, I will create an agent for this queue, um, and I'll show you how to log into that, and I will log in as supervisor as well and show you the difference for those. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, please give it a comment, and please subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you.